Esteban, uh, uh, quite a day out there for you. Uh, you shoot a final round 69 and I guess persevere on the back nine a little bit and uh, turns out to be good enough for your third Champions Tour victory. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Um, you know, I really enjoy the golf course. Uh, everybody, volunteers, uh, the main sponsor, Nature Valley, uh, Pebble Beach, Poppy Hills, what a wonderful golf course as well. Uh, all the media, um, all the players who um, came over and support all the children. Well, with children, we call it because they're so young. Uh, I play with this wonderful little girl, um, Jessica um, um, uh, Rohina. What a wonderful little player. And I think uh, you will see her on the LPGA someday. I, I really believe that she will make it someday. But, um, you know, I... I wasn't expecting anything. I just went down there and shoot birdies and and uh, hit a lot of fairways and a lot of greens. And I knew I was putting well. And um, you know, I was working with my coach on Monday uh, and this week, and uh, he he came over and helped me a little bit with my swing. And and I guess it paid off. But um, that I was uh, surprised to win. No, I, uh, I I I done it twice, and I know I can. You know, I capable to. Uh, to, uh, to win again and I know I'm gonna win again I just don't know where but uh, but this this tournament was it was very special for me because the uh, John Minnis who died 12 years ago he's a guy who brought me from Mexico to this country to uh, to for a better life for me and uh, and he sponsored me so many years and and, and uh, I want to dedicate this uh, trophy uh, to him because uh, without him I wouldn't be here Minus, am I? Yeah, John Minus. Um, yeah, he's, he lives. Well, his wife still live in uh, in Milpitas. That's where I grew up. And uh, winning Pebble Beach is it's just amazing. I mean, it seems like he was watching me all the way through uh, 18 holes, and uh, I, I uh, it changed my life. M M I N N I S. M I N N I S. Yes. Okay, Esteban. Uh, just just take us through the day if you could. Uh, three birdies on the front side. Yeah, it, it's. Uh, um, I told my caddy this morning. I uh, I got to go up there and shoot a 66. I, I really thought that 66 was going to be the number. Uh, I never thought I was uh, 69 would be that number. Uh, you know, great players. Colin Montgomery was on top eight under. You know, uh, uh, there's so many good players. I didn't realize Watson uh, was up there. Um, I never saw the uh, little boy until the last, uh, the third shot on the l on the 18th hole. Uh, believe it or not, uh, I don't look the I don't look the little boy at all. Uh, I make me nervous, so I, I try not to look at it. But uh, the only time I look at it was uh, when I was putting for birdie on the last hole. I saw. I keep on asking. I keep asking Larry. Uh, are, are you sure we winning? Because I, I, it was a shot, and um, he told me you had a one shot lead. So right before the the third shot. And uh, so I got a little more, maybe a little nervous. But uh, when I get nervous, um, uh, I concentrate better. And um, it, it was it, it was awesome. I mean, hit that third shot right at the flag on 18. Uh, it was uh, it was uh, relief, you know. I knew I had two putts to win, and that's as good as he can get here in Pebble Beach. Can you uh, details on the birdies uh, starting at two? Yes, I hit a driver number two. I hit a five iron with uh, within uh, what 35 feet. Left a short five feet, and I made the putt. Then I birdie um, the par three, which is number five. I was about 25, 30 feet, and made it. So that was a 200. Then I birdie the the greatest hole in golf, I think <laughs> number seven. I uh, hit a sandwich about what, five feet, and made made the putt. Um, I buried the toughest par five I ever played in my life, 14. Uh, hit driver, uh, uh, five iron, and uh, a little pitching wedge uh, right at the flag. Uh, and I buried that one. But uh, at that time, I... It was about it 10 was feet, about 8 feet. feet. 7 feet. But at that time, I thought I was close. I wasn't thinking that I was winning. Maybe I wasn't. I don't know. But but um, it, was a, it was a great experience for me. Um, I went down there and... and, and and I uh, and, and and tried to win this tournament. Um, I've been in the situation twice already, and uh, and I had a chance uh, to win it, and I, I went at it. Um, I lost to Colin Montgomery at the PGA this year. I kind of learned a few things from from that day, that I got to play a little more aggressive, but I got I got to pay I got to uh, putt more. I uh, have to make more putts, 
and I did some for par, some for birdie, but but uh, I made only one bogey uh, in the last two rounds, and I think that that put me up there. Questions? I just have one. Um, you're a veteran player. You know all the players, but among the top five, you have three Hall of Fame players, and I wondered if that um, changed your game or if you even knew about it. No, I didn't change any game. I, I knew I was playing well coming in. Um, I, uh, my coach and I, my coach, my coach and I were just working in my swing, my tempo. So, but when I saw Colin Montgomery on eight, uh, eight under par, so I, I never thought he was going to shoot uh, even or, or better the way he was playing. And um, so I thought maybe all in Brown because he's, he's so steady, you know. And then I realized that the Watson was up there on, on the top, and my, that's what my caddy told me. That's and it's one thing I do. I I don't look the little boy at all. Uh, I make me nervous. But I, I never thought maybe nine over a uh, nine nine under was going to win it. Um, uh, so many good players right behind me, and um, uh, you know what? It, it was my day. Uh, I made a lot of putts. I, I play aggressive. Uh, um, I never got in trouble. Only on well, we don't talk about seventeen, but but I got a little nervous and I was very confused in that shot on nine seventeen. I was between the five and the four, and uh, I guess I should have hit the five, but could have, would have, should have. Um, but uh, great up and down for bogey, and and then it's when I kind of realized I was real close to win it, and and uh, just uh, it's amazing, it's an amazing week. Anything else for Esteban? Yes, sir. Yes, Esteban, great win today. Um, I was wondering after you hit that shot on 17, the tee shot to the right, you know, what was your mentality coming up to that second shot, and um, how do you, as a professional, try to manage your mind when you come up to a tough second shot like that? Well, I've been I've been hitting worse shots than that, <laughs> um, but you know what? It, it's uh, it's uh, you just got to go up there and believe you can get it up and down. Uh, not because I hit a shot on the right side, on the left side, I still can get it up and down. I hit a what fifty yard shot over the bunker, and the only one thing I didn't want to do is leaving it short. And also another thing, it was I don't want to blade it and go over on the other side. So I hit it pretty high. I trust my shot because I practiced that shot over and over and over. And I hit it pretty high, and the ball came down a little soft, but it rolls off the, off the, uh, off the green, and it's still a tough shot coming back. And um, it, it, it's, I've been there so many times, and like my caddy say, when I, when I have a tough shot, it's when I concentrate the best. And and um, sometimes I don't, you know, I don't like it, uh, you know, when he tells me that, but, 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 it, but he's right. He's absolutely right. And when when I when I have a tough shot, I concentrate better, just like on the. I don't know when I was in the bunker. It was an impossible shot. I have my still my ankle hurts a little bit because I my my left foot it was kind of right against between the sand and the and the lip of the bunker, and it was hurting me. That's why I back up about five times, and but I've been there so many times. So it's the uh, same on 17. Uh, I've been there so many times, and I got up and down from the ball watcher before. So it's not like it's a big deal, but it's um it's you know the more you practice, the guess the lucky you get. Anything else? Esteban, congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you very much.